The second of our, of our new Defender 110 arrivals comes in the form of this Gondwana Stone D250 example. So it's a two litre diesel with just under 250 horsepower, a fabulous combination. As I just said, finished in Gondwana Stone with, as you can already see, a lot of the Explorer pack on this car and a black pack as well. It's a first edition model and specification, so it comes with all of the usual first edition extras. And we'll talk you through those as we go around the car but it's just the visuals on this particular one for us. It really stands out with that Explorer pack. And starting at the front, you'll see all of the Defender lettering and this top section of the grille here is all finished in gloss black. Um, these headlight surrounds also in gloss black. And this has got the signature daytime running lights with that sort of circle daytime running light around there. All matrix LED headlights as well. And you'll see the front camera for the 3D surround camera system in the grille hidden very nicely there. Obviously front and rear parking sensors as you would expect as well. The 110 bonnet decal on the top of the bonnet there. So with the left numbers 110 in there as well, another cost option. The gloss black uh, bonnet louvres, the extended wheel arches all around the car. And then this car's fitted with 20 inch uh, gloss silver alloy wheels. So a nice size wheel, fill the arch. The car's in the access mode at the moment, air suspension car again, so that can be raised and lowered as you wish. Full size mud flaps front and rear. So with the Land Rover logo on the back ones, and then you've got the snorkel here as well. It goes all the way up the length of the A-pillar there. Gloss black door mirrors and window surrounds all the way around the back and then the privacy glass in the back there as well and the dual side steps on the side here make it much easier to get in and out of keyless entry and exit with the button on the door handles there you'll see the blind spot just illuminated in the door mirror as well so that's what those two little squares are in the top left hand corner of the door mirror and you'll see the black leather interior as well deep pile carpets in this example and a wonderful specification fully electric seats a large opening panoramic roof as well which does not get in the way of the roof rack. So you can still open that even with the roof rack on the roof there. And we'll show you that a bit later on. Meridian sound system. And then again, those wonderful first edition plaques in the bottom of the door sills there. It's a really nice example, this one. And then if we show you in the back here, you'll see again, tons of space in the back of these, lots of USB ports in there. Very easy to get a full family of five in one of these cars, absolutely no problem at all. And the panoramic roof just makes it a much lighter place to be in the back there as it stretches all the way to the back seats. And then if we come around the back of the car, you'll see those uh, mud flats with the Land Rover logo on looking very good down there. Full size spare wheel. And then again, another cost option is the spare wheel cover. So that is fully covered and it's an actual plastic cover as well with Defender written on it. And then another first edition plaque on the bottom of the boot door there. Side hinge tailgates as is a feature on these modern new Defenders. And then if I just put, pop the parcel shelf away slightly, you'll see a full rubber boot liner on top of what is already a very robust boot floor there as well. And then if I lift the boot floor up, you'll see there's a huge amount of storage under the boot floor there as well. Along with your tools, a full size domestic three pin plug socket on the right hand side of the boot there. So you can plug a normal plug in there as well. And then you've got your buttons on this side for your air suspension. So you can raise and lower the back of the car to make it easier to load things in and out of. And then if we head around the driver's side of the car, You'll see the shark fin up the top there is where the rear camera is housed for that 3D surround camera system. And it also does a very cool function on the rear view mirror, which you'll see when we get in the car, I'll show you that as well. And then again, another part of the Explorer pack is this side box that is locked at the moment. You can unlock that and there's a bit of extra storage on the outside of the car there for you. I'll jump in the driver's side now and we'll go through some of the interior features. So the side step makes it very easy to get in and out of keyless start as we said before so just foot on the brake push the start button and that d250 will fire into life lots of lovely features being a first edition so you've got the full um, digital display in the uh, front of the driver there and this is customizable so at the moment it's on the one um, speedo in the center your map on the right hand side and then you can actually choose whatever you want to see on the left hand side there it's just displaying the messages because we've just turned the car on but you can customize that. So if I come across to the display settings, you'll see we can have a full screen sat-nav map there if you'd prefer. 
and you can have it as two tradi traditional dials as well. So you'll see sat nav there, you've still got all your speed and everything at the top and your fuel, etc. Steering wheel, heated steering wheel on that button there, illuminates orange when it's on, electrically adjustable steering column, and then your cruise control buttons on the right hand side of the steering wheel and your buttons for controlling that digital screen in the center there on the left hand side of the steering wheel here. Automatic matrix headlights as we touched on at the start, so they're on automatically at the moment. And then you've got this big 10 inch infotainment screen in the center here, so it's wireless Apple CarPlay. So I can press that and it'll pop onto Apple CarPlay and you can switch between the Land Rover system and the Apple CarPlay very easily. All of your off-road settings, being a Defender, there's lots of them, all weight sensing, etc. And if I go in here, heated seats in the front of the car as well, so you can change the uh, amount of heat you'd like on those. And then if I turn into reverse, the 3D surround camera system comes on. So if I push these buttons here, you can go around the car. It's very clever. You can, it makes it very easy to see where you are, any objects, fence posts, anything like that that you need to park around. It makes it much easier to do so. And obviously if the door was shut, you'd see it as a full 360 degree camera. I'll pop it back into park. And then down here, you've got your dual zone climate control for the front. If I push this button here, this side becomes your off-road settings. So you've got grass, gravel, snow, mud ruts, sand, etc. There's lots of different off-road systems as you would expect from a Defender. And I'll pop it back into comfort for the time being. Lots of storage, so two cup holders under there. Storage all behind the sat-nav screen, all the way along there, USB ports in there as well. And this car's also fitted with a center console refrigerator compartment. So you can turn that on. It will keep any drinks cool whilst you're driving along. And then a couple of other features. If you have a look above me, you'll see at the moment the rear view mirror is set to just your standard glass mirror. So you're literally seeing a mirror. And if I flick this switch here, it very cleverly changes to a camera, which is on that shark fin we showed you a little bit earlier on. And you can customize that to point the camera up and down. So a bit like your rear view mirror is adjustable by hand, you can customize the camera on there as well. Makes it very easy if the back of the car is loaded full of luggage or passengers, um, you can sort of skip through them and see directly out. And if I have a look above me, I'll open this panoramic roof all the way so you can see what I was talking about before. Does not get obstructed at all by the roof rack on there. And it's very nice to be able to still do that whilst having the Explorer pack on the car. I'll turn it off now and we'll jump outside. All memory settings for the electrically adjustable seats. Um, it's just a very well specified first edition example of a Defender 110. Just under 25,000 miles covered from new, a full service history and lots of lovely options and a beautifully presented visually car, a stunning example. My name's Ben, I hope the video's helped and thank you very much for watching.